At Point du Arc Friday, President Biden paid tribute to the U.S. Army Rangers who scaled the 100-foot cliffs between Omaha and Utah Beach 80 years ago to neutralize German artillery, helping the Allies turn the tide of World War II. When the Nazis cut the ropes, the Rangers used their hands, and inch by inch, foot by foot, yard by yard, the Rangers clawed, literally clawed their way up this mighty precipice. In a speech on democracy, the president connected D-Day to supporting Ukraine's fight for freedom. They stood against Hitler's aggression. Does anyone doubt, does anyone doubt that they would want America to stand up against Putin's aggression here in Europe today? Earlier in the day, the president met in Paris with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, where he pledged continued U.S. support in Ukraine's war with Russia and publicly apologized to Zelensky for the congressional gridlock earlier this year that held up a critically needed aid package. I'm not going to walk away from you. I apologize for the uh, those weeks of not knowing what's going to happen in terms of funding. The president also announced a new $225 million assistance package for Ukraine as it fights off Russia's offensive around Kharkiv.